Hello everybody, welcome to RSM 482 Sports Gaming and Fantasy Sports. I'm excited about this class, hopefully you are too. As we get started, I wanted to go over the course, uh, create a brief video going over the syllabus for you so we don't have to waste any time with that, and also go over Moodle and go over the structure. So first, a little bit with the syllabus and what my expectations are. Based off the feedback that I received from you guys, we will hold class at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays via Zoom. All the links are already posted in Moodle for you. They're ready to go. Um, I will record those class sessions if you're not able to make it. However, uh, based off your recommendations and your feedback, that's when time works best for everybody. So that's when set F class. Office hours range via Zoom if you need me right there. Try to make myself as available as possible. Course description, I'll let you guys read that. Um, some of the students, some of the outcomes of this. You're going to understand betting odds and how they're employed in the United States and international markets. You understand parimutuel betting. Uh, also, research develop some successful sports, <laughs> fantasy sports teams. Um, understand some research methods and statistical modeling techniques that go into that. Then also understand the business implications of sports betting on sports and media organizations. Uh, how this instruction be done. Here it is. Uh, be a combination of synchronous and asynchronous, meaning that I will meet every week with you guys. I want to hold these class discussions that are there. Now, because it is a distance learning course, um, I cannot mandate that you show up. But I really highly encourage that, and I have made it as accessible as possible. Um, I will also make it as, there's no, no point, but I've tried an incentive to make you come as far as participation points. Da, da, da. And the other one in this, you will have two class meetings a week. One with me as a lecture session where you're discussion what we're doing. Also, I have arranged some pretty impactful guest speakers for you guys to listen to. It is my expectation that you show up for those guest speakers. Guest speaker sessions will not be recorded. So you miss it, it's out on you. Let's see. Some of my expectations, you engage with the online lectures. And what I mean by engaged means actively participating, which means asking questions and aiding the course discussion. Uh, if you want to come in, I can't mandate you turn your camera on. I can't do that, but I want you guys to discuss. We're talking about really unique, timely, topics in this class and I think it's something you guys are taking it for good reason if that sparked your interest so I want you guys to talk about it uh, this is stuff to talk about anyway so I said the course to be one of a lot of discussion so that, um, if you have questions ask them there are no such thing as stupid questions uh, be prepared to ask questions of guest speakers do your research um, come prepared to ask questions for them Read all the required readings. I haven't, there's not a lot of required readings um, or watch the required videos and submit your assignments on time. Uh, as most of y'all know, I am really fast at responding to emails. I get through that pretty quick, especially now. So please do that. If I don't get back to you in 48 hours, then shoot me an email saying, hey, Dr. Larry, did you see my email? But please let, give me 48 hours. Uh, I'm more than happy to set up a Zoom meeting to answer any of your questions. I, I'm all for it. Uh, and it's also my expectation to have assignments graded within 48 hours of the submission due date. Um, Miss assignments, there is no makeup work in this class. Uh, so get your stuff done on time. That's one thing I'm very strict about, getting meeting deadlines and getting stuff done. There's the assignment breakdown. No late assignments are accepted. All quizzes and assignments are due by Saturday of the weekly in the module, um, unless otherwise stated. Um, all assignments must be submitted as a PDF to Moodle. Failure to submit these uh, as a PDF will result in zero, and individual assignment guidelines are posted on Moodle. Here's your point breakdown. You have a quiz each week worth 25 points. Uh, weekly reflections. Um, their peer review, which I'll go over. Fantasy sport participation. We are playing fantasy golf in here, and I'll shoot that information out to you. 
and class participation. And then a final exam. So 600 points total. Here's some commonly asked questions about grading. Do I round grades? Yes, I'll round an 89.5 to a 90. I will not round an 87 to a 90, so please do not ask. Do I offer extra credit? No, none will be offered. Here's a breakdown of the course schedule. Uh, we start the week of June 8th. Our first meeting will be Wednesday, June 10th at 10 a.m. via Zoom. The link's already there. Uh, our guest speaker for the first week is Tony uh, DiTomaso. Uh, he's from CG Technology. If you know, CG Technology is a sports book in Las Vegas. They have about five casinos in Vegas and others spread across the United States. He is their director of risk management. Um, what he does, he sets betting lines. He sets the risk. He is, for lack of better terms, the sports bookie. There you go. Um, with all guest speakers, we're on their time as to what works best for their schedule to fit them in. Uh, and their information were there. I will make a concerted effort to let you know two weeks ahead of time so you can plan accordingly. Um, module two is betting the ponies and online gaming. Wednesday lecture at 10. Uh, Kyle Duthry is a works for Churchill Downs Corporation, also Twin Spires. Some of the others has a family connection here at Coastal. Uh, we'll talk about that and also we'll talk about um, how horse racing and embedding of that and how that works and lays out and what to look for. Uh, module three features fantasy sports. Uh, lecture there. Our guest speaker that week would be Marcus Grant. He's from NFL.com. He is the editor for fantasy sports at NFL.com. So ask him your fantasy football questions. Module four is business implications of sports gambling. Uh, Wednesday, July 1st, we'll have our session. Uh, our guest speaker will be David Van Egmond uh, from Barstool Sports. He is the Chief of Strategy in Sports Gaming for Barstool Sports. Uh, hopefully you guys will like that one. And then Module 5 is our wrap-up final exam. Wednesday will kind of be a Q&A session if you wanted. Um, but we also have our, maybe I might see if Jason can talk then, but Jason Frakes from the Journal Courier in Louisville, Kentucky. So covering horse racing and sports betting for years. Um, in fact, he has an interesting article where he went with a, a colleague and they tried to win uh, at the at the Derby. So um, interesting to talk about. And then just some other ramble here. Now let me go to Moodle. So here's the Moodle page. Uh, this video link will be posted here for you. Um, so there's that. Some additional requirements. There are no required textbooks for this class. However, if you would like and want to do some personal reading, I provided four additional resources for you. Um, these are kind of what I've built the course off of. Um, but The Logic of Sports Betting is very good by Ed Miller and Matthew Davidow. Uh, Real Sports, Fancy Money uh, by Bill Ordeen. Talks and looks at daily fancy sports, how it plays into it. Uh, sports betting for dummies. If you've ever read one of the dummies books, you know, painting a house for dummies or growing a yard for dummies. There's a sports betting for dummies book. It's brand new, just coming out this year. Uh, highly recommend that one. And then betting on horse racing for dummies by Richard Eng. Another one, very good. Um, supplemental material for you. Not required. None of them are expensive if you wanted to get them. If you want to dabble in sports betting, horse racing, any of that in the future. There you go, um, some additional resources for you. Now let's talk about your reflection. So every week you have to submit a reflection. Uh, your weekly reflection is due by Friday at 11.55 p.m. And it's gonna be a discussion post. Uh, and as you can see down here, you just go to module one discussion and you put in your discussion. There's a word count that pops up. You are required then to be a peer reviewer for your partner. So uh, I'll use myself as an example here. I am the peer reviewer for Catherine Thorne. Catherine Thorne is my peer reviewer. I am going along with this class just like you guys are teaching it. All right. So um, what I'm looking for is this is your personal reflections. 
what I don't want to see is you going, uh, yeah, Dr. Larry had a great class this week and we learned about this and this. I want you to take this and really apply it. Most of you all are seniors or have had some experience um, in this. Maybe you already dabble in a little sports betting. Hey, fantastic. Maybe talk about how what you learn will benefit that. Maybe you learn more things about the industry and potential job opportunities for you in the future. So think about that. Talk through that of what we did and really dive into it. See, I want your in-depth thought. Now, in your peer reviewer, I want you to critically examine what they wrote. I don't want to see great points. I really like your thoughts. A plus. No. I'm looking for a minimum of 500 words. That's what I want. Minimum of 500 words um, to talk about what you're doing. I want you to go in depth. I want you to offer critiques. I want you to offer thoughts. Um, that's what I'm looking for. And your peer review must be done by Sunday at 11.55 p.m. So your initial submission, your work, is done by Friday at 11.55. Your peer review must be submitted by Sunday at 11.55 p.m. of your partner. And that's just hitting a reply in Moodle and on the discussion, okay? Um, so there's your, your partners. There you go. Module one. Lays out everything here. Here's the Zoom lecture link. All you gotta do is click that. Click to access the link. Here's the link for our guest speaker. Our guest speaker will be on Thursday, June 11th at noon. Uh, and then here's some required reading for you. Um, actually, just one thing to read and one video to watch. Okay, and then your quiz, slides, uh, and your discussion. And it'll be the same structure each week as you go down through. Okay. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'm here to help. I'm looking forward to a great class. Thank you, and we'll talk soon.